can't get cover from the judge. He's ready. All right, he's ready. Okay. He's ready. First of all, I want to say it's a pleasure and an honor to be here again. This is my, uh, believe it or not, 20th year uh, doing the oath of office for uh, borough officials, so it's it's kind of a milestone for me too. So it's not as much as a milestone for Anna. I mean, she was here back when when they didn't uh, have folding a, money. We, minute, only had, we only had coin back then, you know. <laughs> wait a minute now. <laughs> it is my eighth time though. So. Okay, you I'm ready? Very proud of that. Place yes. your hand on the Bible. You're going to repeat after me. I'm going to say I. You're going to state your name. I. I. Anna Bono Laracy. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will support, obey, and defend. I will support, obey, and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I will perform the duties of my office. And I will perform the duties of my office. As tax collector. As tax collector. For the Borough of Bristol. For the Borough of Bristol. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations, your associate. <laughs> Would uh, Councilwoman Maria Figueroa come up and you may bring your family up? Come on up, guys. Is not with her, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to hold the Bible for you? I want my son and my daughter to. Okay. <laughs> I, I, Maria Figuerella, do solemnly swear, do, slot, sw yeah. <laughs> do solemnly swear, I will support, obey, and defend, I will support, obey, and, and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and I do further affirm, and I do further affirm, I will perform the duties of my office, I will perform the duty of my office, as councilwoman, as councilwoman, for the borough of Bristol, for the borough of Bristol, with fidelity, with fidelity, congratulations, you're a great <laughs> I, I, Betty Rodriguez, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear, I will support, obey, and defend, I will support, obey, and defend, the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and the Constitution of this Commonwealth, and I will perform the duties of my office, and I will perform the duties of my office, with fidelity, with fidelity, as Councilwoman, as Councilwoman, for the Borough of Bristol, for the Borough of Bristol. Congratulations. <laughs> Ready? Raise your left hand. Oh, raise my yeah, left. That's fine. 
speak. I say I. I, Lorraine Cullen. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will support, obey, and defend. I will support, obey, and defend. The Commonwealth of the United States. The Commonwealth. Uh, I'm of the sorry. United, oh, sorry. The Constitution <laughs> of the United <laughs> States. The Constitution of the United States. Getting ahead of myself. And the and the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I will perform the duties of my office. And I will perform the duties of my office. As Councilwoman for the Borough of Bristol. As councilwoman for the borough of Bristol. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. Thank you. Sir. Councilmember Ralph D. Giuseppe, come up to be sworn in, members of his family. I, I Ralph D. Giuseppe, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. I will support, obey, and defend. I will support, obey, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And the Constitution of this Commonwealth. And I will perform the duties of my office. And I will perform the duties of my office. As councilman for the borough of Bristol. As councilman for the borough of Bristol. With fidelity. With fidelity. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. President, I'd like to nominate um, Ralph DiGiuseppe for Council President. I'd like to second. Nomination is closed. All in favor? Aye. Unanimous. Mr. President, I'd like to make a nomination. Wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he can start now. Oh, I'm sorry. Before we move forward with the agenda, I would just like to say, first of all, how thankful I am and how honored I am to serve this council for 20 years. And sitting here as your council president for 18 years. So thank you very much. Frank said he started 20 years ago. We both won our elections 20 years ago. So I'm starting my 21st year today. So it is an honor, and I do it for the town, and I really appreciate trying to make this town a better place for all of us. Thank you. So at this time, um, I need a nomination for council vice president. Mr. President, I'd like to nominate Betty Rodriguez for uh, Council Vice President. Are there any other nominations? Nominations are closed. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? 
Motion carries. Betty, congratulations. <laughs> Just so you know, Betty's starting her 19th year yes. <laughs> as a uh, council uh, person. Yes. The other thing I want to say before we continue is before this meeting, we swore in our mayor, Joe Saxon, uh, uh, the Honorable Frank Parento. We did it by phone. Everything's done. He is now officially the mayor of Bristol for the next four years. There are so many people that aren't feeling good. I mean, Greg's homesick. Uh, Brian's homesick with his family. Joe's homesick. So, you know, we're trying to keep this as limited as possible. And that's why when we send out an email today, it was trying to keep it to just immediate family to come here. And Anne, I don't know if I'll catch you. It's two, how many? Eight terms? Um, this will be, uh, I'm starting my uh, the 29th year. 29. That's another, I don't know if I'll make nine more. <laughs> God bless you. I said I was here. God bless you. Number seven on the agenda. Mr. President, I'd like to make an appointment of borough solicitor and set compensation per letter dated December 9th, 2021 from William Salerno, Esquire. So I have a second. Second by Mrs. Cullen. Questions or comments? The only comment I would like to make is Mr. Salerno has been serving as solicitor for the borough since 2008 and has never increase his hourly rate since 2008. So he's asking for an increase after 13 years to be at 100 from $150 an hour to 175 an hour and also for uh, litigation reasons he wants to go from 175 to 200 an hour. So that's part of the, this motion. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion for the appointment of Burr Engineer and set compensation per Gilmore's proposed uh, December 2nd, 2021. Well, I have a second. Second by Ms. Rodriguez. Questions or comments? Comment I would like to make is Gilmore's letter that was dated, basically I think there's a 5% increase and it runs, it's, it's a scale that runs from project assistance to survey queue. To, it's very hard. It's available in the borough if anybody wants it. But the lowest fee is $85 an hour, and it runs all the way up to $175 an hour, and that's for a survey crew. It's not just for one person. So with that being said, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Mr. President, I'd like to make an appointment of special borough solicitor and set compensation per letter dated December 3rd, 2021 from Chris Gerber, Esquire of Siena and Belwar. 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 Uh, second by Mr. Catrocci. Questions or comments? The only comment I would like to make is his compensation. His customary rate is $385 an hour. He does it for us at $265 an hour. And his partner, Michael Karate, that charges 385 an hour, does it for the borough, 265 an hour. And this is strictly litigation and uh, a lot, lot to deal with the police and stuff. Correct? Correct. Any other questions or comments? With that being said, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those? Number 11. 10. Number 10. No, 10, vacancy board. Uh, Mr. President, I'd like to appoint Merle Winslow to the vacancy board, to be the vacancy board chairman. Second by Ms. Rodriguez. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Number 11. 
Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion <clears throat> to appoint Joe Laracy as Secretary Treasurer. Second by Mr. Catrucci. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Number 12. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to appoint of Assistant Secretary Treasurer to Mr. Jim Dillon. Do I have a second? Second by Ms. Collin. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Number 13. Mr. President, I would like to um, establish. establish monthly meeting, monthly meeting dates and times for 2022, which are Feb which are first and second Monday of every month at 7 p.m. Second by Ms. Rodriguez. Questions or comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number 14. Mr. President, I would like to also uh, consider consider <laughs> consider accepting Helm Helm and Company propose, proposal dated January 4th, 2022, to conduct 2000, 2021 financial audits. Second by Mr. Katrocha. Questions or comments? The only comment I would like to make is his rate is for this entire audit is $18,225. $6,125 is for the sewer. $12,100 is for the borough. So he audits all our books for the sewer authority and for the, the borough. And that's for the 2021 audit. And he has not increased his in how long? This is his first increase in about 10 years, about a 3% increase. So, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Number 15. Mr. President, I would like to make a motion to authorize a letter of support from the Borough of Bristol, the Bar from the Borough of Bristol to Bucks County Housing Authority to sell 13 homes to Interfaith Housing Development Corporation of Bucks County. Do I have a second by Ms. Cullen? Questions or comments? subsidized housing, they're going to sell them to Interfaith with the condition that they're going to go under the tax rolls. So the school district and the borough will now start accepting property tax. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Number 16. Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion to hire three part-time officers pending all required testing. Their names are Ashley Beck, Devin Gonzalez and Matthew Sozio, per recommendation of Officer in Charge Sergeant Joe Moores. I have a second by Mr. Catrucci. Any questions or comments? I have a I have a comment. Um, I know that when um, Chief Henry left, we were a little bit short. A lot of people had gone on to better things, you know, and um, so we're really in need right now of these officers and um, I would hope that everybody will agree in hiring them. Are there any other comments? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mr. Number 17. Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second by Ms. Rodriguez. Meeting adjourned. Happy New Year.